Bratislava has once again become the capital of world illustration. The biennial of illustrations Bratislava opens its golden gate into the paradise of beauty, knowledge and imagination for the 23rd time. Even in the third millennium, facing competition of new media, Picture Book remains the first gallery a curious child enters into. This is the place where illustrators, publishers, theoreticians from 44 countries of all continents come together. The prestigious awards have been given away. The children's jewelry has its winner as well. The golden apples have this time rolled away to France, the Netherlands, Iran, and South Korea. One stayed at home in Slovakia. The greatest award, the Grand Prix, goes to South Korea. I would like to ask you what this award mean to you or how is this award recognized in the world of illustration? I think it's a very important award and it's very famous and for me it means uh, recognition of my work so I'm just very happy about it and it's just great. Yeah, I think children are also a bit like that because they have to uh, learn new things every day, they have to be open-minded and I like to make something that, um, yeah, that speaks to um, intelligent people who don't have um, the prior knowledge so children they don't know so much but they are smart I'm glad too because it, it is uh, for one of my favorite books it is uh, uh, the surprise aux éditions Memo uh, the story of a cat uh, the relationship between uh, a woman and a, and a cat, and it is a story without text, it's only pictures. The international jury reviewed more than 2300 illustration originals, 356 authors from 44 countries. They paid attention to quality, originality, the power of an idea, communication with text and new approaches. The EB uh, competition is one of the leading in the world. So each time I see that many illustration is also has a very high class. So because they uh, respect the prestigious, they respect the prominent of this uh, competition. So it's not easy to judge because there are 2,315. So different style, different stories and come from different um, countries, they have their own uniqueness, so jury also have to learn, but each country has their own uh, specification. So you you have also classical tendons, well mastery drawn and dominion of line. Uh, also you have mixture techniques about, for example, photographic techniques with collage. And sometimes you have surprises, experimental and uh, risky proposal in children's books. And that is very stimulating. <laughs> Well done illustration is a kind of piece of art and this is a, a revolution in fact and I, I'm sure that BIB in all those years has contributed to change that part of the world because a long time ago, I talk, even in the 70s, people only said if they critic on a book, they said mm, nice illustrations fitting to the text, that was it. But now people try to say what is 
in the illustrations. What are they about? What is their power? And BIB has helped. What matters to me is not just the illustration itself, but the book as a whole, also correspondence and the interplay between text and illustration. Here we focused on the illustration itself. For me, it is important that it would not be a commercial illustration, but rather an illustration that invites children into the world of true art. Wprowadza dzieci w świat sztuki. BIB is the synonymous of the quality because um, this, let's say that uh, the illustrations presented here are all published and uh, uh, they have been also already selected by the bodies and entities sending their um, their entries here. So it's already it's very different in a way. We only exhibit 80. Uh, illustrators, so it's much smaller than here, and also we present uh, uh, new talents and unpublished uh, illustrators, so the feeling is completely different, but this is very nice, I must say. This is uh, so important for me uh, experience uh, in, in, because always in Spain we knew the, the work of, of uh, Slovakia in this, in this uh, way of defending the tradition of hand made uh, illustrations and also in modern uh, ways of, of doing it but also in quality uh, excellence in illustration. How did the Slovak illustration do among the strong international competition? This time we have not chosen somebody approved and with a lot of experience, nor have we chosen a representative of the traditional Slovak school of illustrators. We have picked a young man with a well-marked, peculiar and very interesting style. Perhaps I put more emphasis on expressivity and dauntlessness. There have been quite a few illustrations dedicated to an older child spectator for teenagers. Darker works and also works created by using other media have been presented very well. For some time, it seemed, illustration in Slovakia ended up in a short, dead-end street. Yet contemporary young and middle generation illustrators are getting out of it and are demonstrating a very powerful potential beyond our borders. What in your opinion was it about your illustration style that caught the jury's attention the most? Perhaps openness, expressive style and maybe technology as well, uh, that it was drawn using a computer tablet. We organized Biennial and then attempt to present it to audience beyond Bratislava. Last year we held a big exposition at the occasion of the UN Festive opening in New York. It was the exposition of illustrators who were awarded the BIB Grand Prix. With the help of our embassy, this exposition has been traveling to various regions of the United States. Another great exposition with 150 illustrators was held in Sofia. Right now we are working on a number of expositions so that we would get the most of the outcome of the 23rd biennial. We are discussing possible expositions in Japan, Serbia, Croatia, Moscow and other places. Uh, 
At each biennial, there is a separate exposition of the Andersen's Prize winner, which is a great honor, also last year's Grand Prix winner, and the significant Slovak illustrator. Until last year, we had the exposition Noma Concourse from the regional UNESCO Center from Japan. Starting this year, we present the works of Albin Brunovsky workshop participants and that also deserves attention. In Slovakia, we often do not even realize the effect BIB has had on shaping the children's picture book in the world. A picture book is the gallery a little child enters into and it does matter whether he or she finds quality or key. Even foreign experts say that BIB taught the world a big lesson on the book's new visuals. The BIB elevated illustration onto the pedestal of highest art what had not been the case before. It could be said without exaggeration that was it not for the BIB, the history and forms of picture book in the world over the last half century would look rather different. We are glad that the international prestige of BIB has been growing as well, and this year only confirms that. A part of BIB is also the International Symposium. The theme of this year's symposium was illustration in the world of new media. We had 12 participants from various countries, for example Iran, the Netherlands, Denmark and others. I think the whole symposium was very enriching since there are different perspectives on the way new media and illustration are used. There are people who are in favor of new media and there are some who are against. I think that eventually illustration and new media go together hand in hand. Young illustrators were cooking specialties for fairy tale beings in the magical pot of imagination. There were 10 of them at the UNESCO workshop of Albin Brunowski. They came from Indonesia, Peru, Argentina, Colombia, Syria, Iran, Ukraine and Serbia. And what is the recipe of art's alchemy? That is what with graduate illustrator Peter Uchnar taught them. All the workshop participants are ready-made illustrators and prestigious illustration schools graduates. The art of drawing in the era of digital media slowly diminishes and oftentimes it is the less known schools that have protected this art. In particular, I was pleasantly surprised by the Iranian works and illustrations from Indonesia. Those were really good. Even I stole ideas from them. Here are some ideas from their works. In my country, I don't have the opportunity to see these kinds of books. So uh, the exhibition and also the workshop were very useful to learn.